What is up, man? It is we 23 days out today, and I'm headed over right now to train um, Carolyn, and then train them back, Trevor. That's basically like my in the mornings. I get my training done, so you guys know this. So I do all my training with my client. Things are shaping up, you know, glutes are coming in, hamstrings are getting tighter. Everything's rolling, everything's going the way it should right now, which is great. You know, like uh, for me, it's just uh, just consistency. Like I said, I'm, I'm always busy, so it's hard. For, it's uh, I'm not thinking, like if I was at home all day long, thinking about food, I probably would realize how hungry I am or how tired I am. But I got so, my, I got so much going on right now, it's like one of the good things about having ADD. <laughs> it's like honestly, ADHD, really. Because, you, you, you know, once it's tuned in, you get hyper-focused on one thing. So my hyper-focus is like, is on like, you know, creating content, my business, uh, learning my, you know, memorizing my lines for the TV show, for the TV series. And that's my focus. Like my morning with, you know, getting everything done like you know cardio and my training is done i basically the rest of my day is go 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 and it's like eat so i don't have time to think so i'm hyper focused on the really important things and and the really important things right now are outside of like they don't involve being hungry <laughs> or thinking about that but yeah i mean i mean like diet wise you know I, I'll, I'll give you guys some glimpses of my diet but like honestly my diet is very very enjoyable like i can cook and that's the big thing about my ebook that i want people to understand is that you know we don't have to eat chicken broccoli rice steam whatever you know it can be interesting if you guys learn how to cook and i want to give that to you guys but if you guys learn how to cook it's easier to stay on on diet you know my first meal um i have uh french toast four slices ends up being only 400 calories four slices of 150 calories per two slices of bread plus 100 um 200 grams of uh egg whites cinnamon whatever and that ends up being two like 400 calories but i'll balance plate eat right so what i'll do is i'll take my plate i'll make my protein take up a good quarter of it and then i'll fill the rest of my plate with greens if you learn how to cook if you learn to be creative and count calories dieting is really not that hard the difference between me dieting right now and you guys that are dieting that are out there is i'm taking it to the extreme i said this a couple weeks ago five weeks out for me five six weeks out the look i have and sustaining that look for me would be is easy the, you know, and that's where most people would probably stop their 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 transformation. But mine, because I'm a professional bodybuilder, because of what's required for me to go on stage, I gotta go to the extreme. So, what's sustainable for me? Easy, six, five, six weeks out, I can sustain that diet, that that body type, that conditioning, all of that, in which I will post show because my goal was I wanted to get under 220. It opens up a lot more doors for me in terms of acting, um, mobility, functional training, health, all those things. This show has allowed me to get my body down there. It's forced me to get down there, which I wanted in the first place. But again, like I said, for me now, these next four weeks, that's the extreme. I'm taking it down to the extreme where your body doesn't necessarily want to go. Um, but that's, that's the name of the game. And I'm doing this anabolic free doing this with dieting that's why like trust me guys like if i was on you would see a massive difference in my legs 100 percent. and then for me like honestly like that's one of the things i gotta be really patient about is like yo just let consistency day in day out just keep you know keep on the daily grind stay with your calories do all your cardio do all your training and then let your body do its thing keep in a place of harmony and then watch your body you know um, get to the place where you want to get it you know don't over stress it don't overdo the cardio I'm trusting the process of making sure that I'm I got a good balance of cardio and a good balance of a deficit of, of calories that will allow me to still burn fat but not put my body into this like chaotic environment of cortisol water retention and that's what I did before and it made it very hard sometimes to judge my physique because I'd be holding so much water because I my body be under so much stress I'm gonna be honest 100% I will I will 100% I will take a diuretic 
So you guys can be like, ah, of course I am. If there's gonna be one thing, and, and I always say this when I when I coach when I coach athletes that are that are natural. Jesus Christ. When I coach athletes that are natural, that are in that are in the that are doing a MPC show. And I have a lot of athletes that are natural and they do the you know open shows, non-tested shows. I say like, look man, there's one thing that you can that you can level the playing field and that's dryness. And I've used them before and I've abused them before. I know how to and, I, and, and to be honest, the leaner you are, the more conditioned you are, the less of the diuretic you need. I have, I've used half of a diazide or even one on some of my competitors, literally. And it's done so much for them because they are in shape. It's when people are not in shape and they use diuretics to hopefully make them appear better than they are. But the thing is, if you got a layer of fat underneath you subcutaneous, doesn't matter how many diuretics you take, you're just gonna suck the, 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 the water away and reveal more fat, plain and simple, so. Anyway, um, I'm about to ride into Klein's spot. I'm gonna train Carolyn right now, and then, uh, and then uh, training. Ch sorry, back with Trevor, and I'll be back. So, anyway, let's get it. <laughs> We're doing uh, three sets, as many reps as possible. So I'm gonna first 15, then I'm gonna try 15 again. And I probably will only get 10, but I'll try. <laughs> Going from high pull to high row, so getting more scap. So I want to work with and thickness today. Actually, for like the remainder of the uh, prep, get as much volume as I can in both. So going from here, here, three sets here. Then we'll do T bar, one arm row, and then uh, finish off straight arm. This over my waist. There you go. And that's how you stay in. Let's go. Boom. Boom. said eventually do a uh, gym tour and I will I'll do a gym tour of this gym and my home gym as well too but we got some things in the works with this gym basically getting some different equipment 
upgrading a bit. So one arm row, I'm gonna keep it here and brace myself from here, but I'm not gonna be bracing myself back here. If you're doing this at any machine, you have no clue what you're doing. I don't care who it is, I don't care what pro or favorite amateur bodybuilder you saw do this. It is not efficient, it's dumb. The angles don't make any sense. That's why the machine was made this way. It's hardest angles from here to here. If I go like this, is life. So regardless, we're gonna basically get on this side and stretch. Head's gonna be away from the most space from here to here. Stretch the shoulder, protract and retract. So when I'm pulling, um, you see my shoulder doesn't elevate. It stays down the entire time. So when you're pulling, avoid this. So again, the cure, I'm pulling the handle down. I'm gonna keep my shoulder depressed while I'm pulling. You don't want it up here. We're done. All right, so I'm in a rush and back from training. I dropped my car off. Now I'm heading over to set and I gotta eat. So if I'm like quick, if I had to get some real quick, sorry, I'm gonna shake, um, just protein. Then I got my my greens roughage by Blue Star Nutraceuticals. Use my code right here. So I'm gonna get this in me and head off. And that's my day. So you guys know how it is. I'm sure I'm sorry, progressive overload your life. Meantime, y'all, keep doing chasing, keep watching, keep watching my videos, binge watch them all. See you soon. Yeah.